And new tonight, 7 News asking tough questions about this Aurora event center that closed without warning, leaving several brides without a wedding venue and without a refund. 7 News reporter Jacqueline Allen broke the story this week. And Jacqueline, tonight you've tracked down the operators of the Excalibur. It wasn't easy. This place, which used to be a hopping nightclub on a Thursday night, is now dark. The phone numbers all disconnected. Brides and grooms we spoke to had no idea when they were planning their wedding here this summer that they were going to be jilted. In the hours, you know, exactly what we we're looking for. More than 500 people are coming from all over the country to see these high school sweethearts finally tie the knot July 27th. When we did this contract, I, he seemed like a, you know, friendly, honorable person. Excalibur Event Center seemed the perfect fit, but yesterday they found out from watching yes. 7 News their wedding venue is closed, their $1,500 deposit gone with it. I started crying right away. Do you feel like you owe these people an apology? I do. I, I definitely do. So. Tonight we tracked down Excalibur's manager, David Mendez, on the phone. He says he spent the deposit money on building repairs and blames Excalibur's owner for raising the rent and forcing him out. I'm really sorry about this, but it, 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 it's, not, it's not on my bottom and it's not on my hands right now. I'm not the owner of the place. But Excalibur's owner, Jaime Cueva, points the finger back at Mendez, saying he damaged the building before he left. Cueva would also only talk on the phone. Are you going to honor the contracts now? Well, that's what I'm talking to my lawyer. I don't know if I'm, I got to honor because I didn't even know they were doing those contracts. They did them on their own. Not everyone's so unhelpful. The Sherman Street Event Center has gotten calls from four brides jilted by Excalibur. After we heard the story and found out what was going on, we decided that we would offer a substantial discount um, so that we could help these people out. Finally, some good news for this couple planning to look there tomorrow because their big day is coming soon. It's stressful enough, you know, just having a wedding and then a stressful more now, four months away, finding another venue for 500 people. And we still don't know exactly how many events were canceled here. The manager says it's about 11, but the owner told that couple we interviewed that it was closer to 50. Both the owner and the manager tell me they're taking each other to court, so it may be a while before these people might get their deposits back. Reporting live, Jacqueline Allen, 7 News.